I mean, just have a look at this turquoise water. It's one of the cleanest beaches I've been to. Sean here from the amazing island of Koh Samui in Thailand. Today, we're at Mainam Beach. Cheers. Yeah, have a look at this. Absolutely amazing. Palm trees. Koh Samui, a couple of weeks now, and yeah, this is by far the best beach I've been to. I took a leap and embarked on full time travel in 2022, armed with drones and cameras. I share my adventures as I travel across Southeast Asia. Venturing into the unknown has been both exhilarating and rewarding. To me, Southeast Asia is a gold mine of experiences. Rich in culture, amazing people, delicious food, and unforgettable adventures. And it's this very essence that I share with you. So pack your curiosity, buckle up, and subscribe to join me on my wild adventures through the amazing cities, unbelievable landscapes, and hidden gems of Southeast Asia. Here at Mainam Beach, just stopping for lunch. Check out this beautiful water here. Absolutely amazing. Mainam, Koh Samui. to grab some lunch I ordered a Penang Getty which is Penang with spaghetti never seen it before had to try it so looking forward to that all right so here it is the Penang Getty Because it's like a spaghetti sauce, there isn't a lot of coconut cream, but the Penang paste that they use isn't too spicy, so it's quite nice. Good amount of heat though, but good flavor. And I got it with the pork, so nice pork flavor in with that Penang curry paste with a bit of coconut milk, really nice. Mainam Beach, it's quite beautiful. I mean, just have a look at this turquoise water. It's one of the cleanest beaches I've been to. Really nice beach here in Mainam. Compared to Chawang Le Mai, I recommend. Mainam, less pollution. Been in Koh Samui a couple of weeks now. And yeah, this is by far the best beach I've been to. It's beautiful. And I've been to Bangkok Beach, Chawang, Le Mai, Big Buddha Beach. Yeah, this is by far the best. It's 
So we just had lunch at Tokin Cow. Really nice lunch actually. Food is delicious, reasonable prices. Another thing I like about Mainam Beach is it's not too touristy, so you do get a lot of authentic Thai restaurants still. So they're not gonna tone it down just because you're a tourist, which for me, I like the authentic Thai food. I've really gotten used to it by now and it's much better than any westernized version of it, so yeah. Actually, some of my favorite Thai food now is Isan style food. I love the som tam, which is your papaya salad, and sun-dried crispy pork, some sticky rice. It's good, you get to eat with your hands as well. It's a good experience to really absorb some Thai culture through food. But yeah, I must say, Koh Samui is pretty high up there for digital nomad lifestyle. It's pretty nice. My only issue, unfortunately, is the, uh, the drone rules in Thailand. You cannot fly a drone within 5.5 miles of an airport. So it ends up being close to 9 kilometers and not being a big island. And it's as the crow flies, so it's direct like nine kilometer radius as well so yeah it just makes it hard for me to be able to fly drones here because it does block out most of the island so as nice as it is it's just more difficult but that's just me as far as the digital nomad life is concerned though by far so like i've been to bangkok i've been to koh chang i've been to quite a few places been to bali Bali just gets too crazy, but so far for me, the best digital nomad lifestyle is Koh Samui, for sure. It's a great place for digital nomads. Yeah, have a look at this. Absolutely amazing. Palm trees. And that temperature of the water that you get here is just so good. Yeah, the Thailand temperature of water, it's always like 23 or 20 to 26 degrees. Even early in the morning, it's still warm, so it's really good. Thailand life, people, get here and enjoy it. All right, just got some banana and pineapple fritters. Got some dipping sauce, which is sweet and condensed milk. So it's like a mashed pineapple and banana filling, deep fried. It's sweet, a little bit tangy from the pineapple. And then you've got the deep fried batter around the sides, which is the same kind of batter that they use on a Dagwood dog. It's quite nice, quite delicious. Mainam Beach definitely has to be my favorite beach in all of Koh Samui. I've been to many and by far this is the best. Whiter sand, cleaner beaches, beautiful water, clearer water as well. So and it always has that turquoise color to it. So nice here. Less touristy so you don't get a lot of people crowding the area as much. So have a look at this. There's like not too many people on the beach. It's nice and peaceful. So coming up, I've got quite a few adventures to share with you and we're going to be checking out some night spots as well, 
and of course I'll be doing the monthly wrap from Koh Samui so all of that is coming as well so if that sounds good to you hit that like hit that subscribe button if you have subscribed already thank you you're the reason why I make these videos and I look forward to catching you in the next one